Hey hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Agar Prajapati and this video will be talking about what are the different type of triggers in Azure Data Factory. So basically we have three type of triggers in Azure Data Factory. First one is uh, scheduled trigger, second one is tumbling window and third one is storage event based trigger or we can say also the event based trigger. So if I click on this add trigger now option like new edit option and if I click on this plus button then you can see this window has come up. Right now we have this type option schedule, tumbling window, storage and event, custom events right. So what the schedule means is that uh, you know uh, whenever you have to run the pipeline on a particular time. Let's say I want to run the pipeline at 9 pm IST every day and my client or my you know source team has told me that they will put the file at 9 pm IST. So what I will do I will try to you know get a schedule trigger and I will select my time zone over here and instead of minute I will just choose here day because they are saying that they will give the file each day every day once right. So I will just write here one and I will put here a timing like 9.15 so suppose they are saying that suppose they are saying that they will give the file at 9 then I will try to put the 9.15 for the buffer for you know I just took some buffer time okay cool and I'll just click on ok and then everything will be will be sorted right and second option would be uh, my tumbling window so what the tumbling win window is that we create uh, we, 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 we use this trigger whenever we have to run the pipeline in, per, in a periodic interval let's say to A to B right and then we have this storage event now storage event which means is that you know whenever something happened in the source or in the location my pipeline will trigger okay so basically here we have two type of event first first one is uh, whenever blob created and second one is blob deleted suppose you have a client and they saying that they can give you the file at any time like in maybe in the evening maybe in the in the afternoon maybe in the morning early morning or midnight then you you cannot decide the timing right at what time i should run my pipeline and you need to run every time whenever they give the file so for that what i'm what i will do i will rather i will try to create this storage event based trigger instead of uh, schedule trigger okay because in schedule trigger we may we may miss the data but storage event means like whenever they put the file i will should uh, I, I will run my pipeline automatically so we will all uh, we will see this storage event based trigger today's video and later on maybe in the future i will try to share try to tell you what is how we can schedule the tumbling window or schedule schedule is very straightforward and i will tell you the you know custom events and as well as the tumbling window trigger in later videos so let me just dis discard it for now and i will try to create a pipeline so this is kind of simple pipeline i'm gonna create and i'm gonna i'm 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 gonna copy the data from this source location source container to the sync sync container cool so for that what i'll do for that what i'll do i'll just uh, create one data set so i'll just choose this gen 2 and i'll choose here test choose my link service I already created and click me ok now cool I open this ok I open this and here here what I can do I can pass my things like I'll pass uh, pass the you know the location source ok no let me create a parameter so let me create a parameter like container folder and file cool go back to connections go to my pipeline then you can see we have all these three options so I'll just uh, 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 okay I cannot use actually cool so in the in the container option I will write my source in the folder option my my folder will be uh, data and my file I will I, I, I will tell you later sync option also i'll just do the same thing i'll just choose the same uh, you know same uh, data set and instead of source container i'll just write here sync and folder name let's say data only and data not data like you know data output something like that i can put it and file name i'll just keep blank for now 
and if I open my uh, data set, not data set, I mean her data set only, I'll choose here container, the parameters I have to pass, this is folder and this is file name. Cool. Go back here. Everything seems correct, but I need to write down this file things also. Right. Now, what I'll do, I'll create a parameter kind of. So I'll just write here trigger file underscore name. Let's say file name only, not file underscore name. And let me correct the spelling of trigger. Cool. Here I'll pass the value which comes from the parameters. Here I'll do the same. Why I'm saying, I'll let you know. Now this data set I created is for the CSV files and I'm gonna schedule my pipeline for the CSV files only. Okay. So I'll just create a new pipe, a new trigger. And let's say I'll let me give a name let's say event trigger event and i'll choose here storage event and here i have to choose my storage account so this see this storage event trigger is is i mean is work only on on the blob storage or we can say data lake gen 2 okay it will not work in the rdbms source or file list any other file system okay Either you can choose from subscription and enter manually. So right now I'm choosing, um, you know, from the Azure subscription and I'll choose my, uh, my, my, my account name. That is a geek coder source. And here I'll pass the container name. So some, if something happened in the source container, then only I have to, uh, you know, run my job. Cool. And here you have to pass the uh, blob path begins with and blob path with uh, ends. So here, what I'm gonna do, I I I'm gonna pass here data, and here I'm just gonna pass dot CSV. Okay, and here we have two options like whenever blob created or whenever blob deleted. So I have to choose here blob created. Whenever blob created, I just have to trigger my pipelines. Okay, it is loading now. You can see these many things have come up. Okay. Now, whenever something happened on the, on the data folder, I have to just take that file out. Okay. And suppose this we do not have uh, as of now, and we have only this thing. So let me continue it. And here, see how, if I cancel it, how it will choose the file name, how it will choose the file name. Okay. How it will choose the file name. This is the question. So, here I have to pass one uh, function fun syntax like trigger body okay dot file name suppose you want to have the folder name then folder path then you can uh, instead file name you can pa pass folder path click on ok cool everything seems correct sync ho gaya, right and now let me just publish my pipelines we have three pipelines See, I do not want to do anything whenever the Excel file has been uploaded or, you know, packet file has been uploaded or JSON file has been uploaded. I just want to trigger this pipeline whenever the CSV file has been uploaded and and the, and the CSV file can be of any name. That's why I just write, write star, not star, dot CSV. Okay, the, the extension should be CSV file only and file can, the file name can be anything. Okay, cool. Now I go back to my source data and I'll try to upload something over here. So let me choose overwrite if already exist browse file and let me click on this and upload it. Okay. Now let me minimize it to see whether, you know, the pipeline got refreshed or not. Now it is seen you now you can see that it is running, right? This is only the pipeline. I believe. Cool. Now, if I go to here, not here, in the sync part, right? In the sync part, I have I given. So, in the sync part, I have this data output, and then we have output one two three dot csv file. Now, uh, likewise, you know what I can do? I'll I'll, I'll just do the same thing over here. Uh, uh, 
I'll try to change the file name. Let's say I'm giving here file name one two three four. Okay, and open it and upload it. Now you can see it will again run the pipeline. And if I go to my sync location in data output, and if I go to my ADF pipelines, refresh it again. Refresh it again, then you can see again the pipeline will trigger automatically. I guess it. No, let me refresh it. Nine fifteen, right? Uh, uh, let me see it. If I refresh it again, yeah, you can see this output one two three four dot cc file has come here. Okay, so this is the way how we can schedule the pipeline, or you know, you can you you can do many changes over here. Like this is kind of basic pipeline I I I, I explained you, and later videos I will tell you also what is tumbling window, how we can create a event based trigger for our own like kind of custom, and you know, I will I will I will tell you more more scenarios over here. So I hope you have liking my videos. If you do, do like share with your friends and uh, send me the connections over the uh, over my over over my LinkedIn, you can send me a message over LinkedIn, and you can also schedule a call on TopMate if you are having facing any issues, and if you want to, if you want any job support, you can also contact me over the Telegram or LinkedIn. Okay, so thank you. Bye bye.